Hi, I'm Yi Feng from Northwestern University, the Center for Science of Science and Innovation. I will introduce our paper, Innovation Insights, a visual analytics approach for understanding the dual frontier of science and technology. We all know that scientific research has long served as an important driving force in human development. Knowledge about how scientific advances support marketplace inventions is thus quite important to understand the role of science in real-world applications. However, for a long time, it has not been clear how science actually influences technological progress. Answering this question can help a diverse groups of stakeholders, for example, from researchers and research institutions to policymakers and companies to identify gaps and opportunities for innovation and facilitate more rapid and effective knowledge transfer. A few number of research in science of science has explored similar questions. The first systematic analysis about the dual frontier of science and technology quantifies this important linkage using the citations from patents to papers. However, these statistical approaches are not sufficient to explore insights hidden behind the complex data structure. Studies in the VIS community either use scientific database to create general visualization techniques for data structure like network and text, or develop systems to support literature queries and academic evaluations. They have focused on either papers or patents separately, ignoring the complex interactions between them. So our focus here is to systematically study the dual frontier of science and technology. Designing such a system has three challenges. First, intuitive visual design are required to show this data with network, multidimensional, hierarchical, and temporal natures. Second, new scientific measures are needed to measure the science technology interface. Third, we also need predictive models to accompany visual approaches to identify innovation opportunities. To tackle these challenges, we first characterize the proper domain and define a set of statistical measures with our experts. We then develop a prediction model to estimate the potential of papers to be used in technology. Then we develop a visualization system to show these complex re relationships. The proposed system is evaluated by case studies and expert interviews. Moreover, we engage with a premier university as a trial run for this system, helping our experts uncover new insights of untapped innovation potential in the real world settings. By working with our experts and collecting feedbacks from other universities, companies, and funders, we have identified six major design tasks, including the identification of researchers, the exploration of science and technology interplay, and the prediction of future inventions. We will start from the data sources. We use the Microsoft Academic Graph as the scientific research data set. It consists of paper meta information such as title, year, and also paper citation linkages. For the technical inventions, we use the patent data collected in patents view. It includes attributes like patent title, assignees, and patent categories. The most important data source is called the reliance on science. It includes more than 40 million citations from patents and papers. Finally, we use both MAG and private dataset from our university HR office to incorporate the demographic information of researchers. Based on these data sets, we proposed an analytical framework to measure the interplay between science and technology, and also predict future technological inventions. We first capture the scientific facts for each paper based on a set of metrics, such as disruption, novelty, and team size. Based on the paper level metrics, we aggregate and obtain researcher level metrics. Besides, the ability to estimate the potential of a paper, especially a new published paper for future inventions is very helpful to identify future potential inventions. 
Here we use a GCN model to predict the probability that a research paper will spur future inventions in a given patent category. The input of the model includes the paper titles and the paper citation graph. And the label matrix indicates whether a paper is cited by a patent category. Based on paper level prediction, we are able to calculate the average patentability of all papers a researcher published in recent five years. This aggregated value is called the p-index. A higher p-index means this researcher's work has higher potential to be used in technology. And this researcher are with high uh, potential to be an inventor. Putting all these measures and the prediction results together, we design and develop innovation insights. Our system has five components. The researcher overview and the statistics view are for the individual level analysis with a set of measures and demographic information. The innovation view shows the detailed interplay between science and technology. Two groups of horizon charts shows the temporal evolution of papers and the patterns respectively. The interplay graph shows the citation linkage from patents to papers. The design of the interplay graph is inspired by the river metaphor. It consists of three parts. First, in the paper matrix, each column represents a paper field and the row represents different ranges of patent citations. The lower the row, the higher the number of patent citations these papers have, and also the closer these papers are to the frontier of science and technology. We provide two modes to compare paper sales. In the folding mode, the size of the circle encodes the average patent citation of papers in that cell, and the opacity represents the number of papers. The unfolded mode use a glyph to summarize the statistics of papers in terms of a set of science of science matrix. The patent icicle plot use a upturn icicle plot to summarize the patent categories from the three level hierarchy. Each rectangle represents a patent category with the length encoding the number of patents in that category. The citation flow visualizes citations from patents to papers. The flows will start from the patent icicle plot and first converge at each paper field at the bottom of paper matrix. Then flows in each paper field will difference to each paper cell. The width of the flow encodes the number of patent citation from a patent category to a paper cell. The thicker the flow, the heavier the patent category relies on the papers in that cell. Two colors encodes two flow types. Dark brown means the historical citation and the light brown encodes the prediction results. We have also optimized the order of the paper matrix columns to minimize the cr flow crossings. The technology inspection view and the science inspection view show additional contextual information about papers and patents, such as assignee distribution, patent keywords, paper lists, and so on. For the evaluation, we first report the prediction model performance. We also introduce insights from a case study. We evaluate the model using two data sets used in our two case studies. We can see that the overall AUCs are up all above 80%, indicating a good prediction performance. For the case study, we share some interesting findings during our pilot study at our collaboration university. Overall speaking, in this university, material science, biology, and chemistry are three predominant disciplines whose knowledge has spurred inventions across many patent categories. After the overview, our experts are also interested in uncovering hidden talents and untapped innovation potential. So when go to the researcher overview, at the bottom of the scatter plot lay an interesting group of researchers. They themselves had no invention disclosure, yet their papers had been cited frequently by other patents. Most of them are full professors at the medical school. After ranking these researchers by p-index, 
we can quickly notice that the second faculty was the only female faculty among the top P index researchers. She had no inventions, but many of her papers have been cited by other patents. Most of her papers were in the cell biology uh, research topic, but the genetics papers were also predicted to be high translational power for future inventions. We also found that many of these citing patents are from the same company called Ematic Biotechnologies in Germany. This discovery made our experts to hold an immediate follow-up conversation with this faculty member. It turned out that while this faculty had done a sabbatical in Germany, she was completely unaware of this company or the fact that they were drawing heavily on her research. So informing these facts, two weeks after the conversation, she submitted new invention disclosures to the university for the first time in her career. Science provides a foundation for many practical applications in human society, but the pathway through which basic understanding leads to technological development is invisible. Think about Bernhard Riemann, a famous mathematician who developed the theory of geometry in mid 19th century, but this was ignored at that time. Six years later, Einstein developed a series of relativity based on Riemann's geometry theory. If we go forward another several decades among the migrant innovations it spurred, it proved essential for the GPS system. And the GPS system then provides the technical foundations for applications such as Uber. The ability to effectively trace and visualize the evolving new frontier of science and technology is therefore crucial to understanding how science drives practical applications and leads to rising standards of living. Our system, as the first of its kind of visualization system for researchers and research institutions to explore the complex interaction between science and technology, not only fulfills our original design purposes, that is to allow users to better identify the sources of technological inventions and understand the impact of scientific research. It also enables an array of new applications ranging from identifying untapped innovation potential within an institution to forging new partnership opportunities between science and industry. Moreover, the proposed size of science matrices prediction model and visualization system can easily be adapted for studying other upstream such as funding and downstream such as policy documents linkage to science. That's all, thank you.